And does our baby know that you're using presumably his backside <laughs> as a carrot holding device? Won't let this moment pass us by. And happy Monday! Hope you've all had a really good Easter. We have had a fantastic Easter break. We've been so busy watching Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, we've That's got. That's not strictly true. We've we've watched a fair bit. Yeah, but I've also done the kitchen and dining room and stuff. Yes, Chris has done an awesome job of the kitchen and dining room. It is looking amazing, and we'll show you in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to hold you in suspense. He's been busy working. I have been busy watching him work and guiding and giving helpful tips and. Stuff like that. We found loads of Shep's old toys and we did have them piled up in a nice neat little pile in the dining room ready to be sorted and gone through and someone, the one with four legs, that one there, hi, he unsorted the pile for us and he has scattered his toys throughout the house. He didn't touch anything that wasn't his own, didn't touch any of our stuff while we were organising all that but his toys were fair game. Yeah, he's laid claim to a few of them, but I don't think they're going in the bin. But that is okay, because he's happy. I cannot believe that this is the end of our four-day weekend. I was so looking forward to this weekend, because I was going to get four days off, and then I go back to work tomorrow for four days, and then my maternity leave starts. And it kind of feels at the moment like, once my maternity leave starts, that's it. Like, Pip is coming. Oh, that didn't sound good. We've spent the last four days ready, trying to prepare stuff so that when I am on my maternity, we don't have a whole bunch of tasks to get done around the house and I can kind of put my feet up and not have to worry about anything. So this has been a very chore-filled weekend, as I'm sure a lot of people try and do on the bank holidays. Next and very most important job of today is to change the battery in the focus. And Chris, is, Chris has been asking me to remind him to do it for months. I think it's been about two months that we've had the battery and we needed to get it done and I've been terrible at reminding him to do it because there always seems to be something that comes up. Anyway, today is the day, it's the end of the bank holiday and we really need to get this done. The one thing that I am so nervous about right now is that we put the new battery in and it doesn't work because it has been sitting on our dining table for months now and we really, ugh, I should have told him to do it ages ago and I didn't remind him and we never got it done and if it doesn't work, it's probably because it's been sitting around too long and it's going to be all my fault. works this is amazing hopefully that is now the end of the battery saga no no we need to take it to the tip we do need to take the battery to the tip but that is dead simple we can do that uh, no we can't no uh, we've got one more episode of game of thrones to watch okay well we can watch one more episode of game of thrones then we can take the battery to the tip but either way we have a working car that has no problems with it, <laughs> I yeah, hope. We'll use that car to take the battery and see what Yes, happens. we should definitely use the car. Massive weight off, and I didn't even do anything. And you did, you did what you've been doing all weekend, and stood there and watched. I supervised. I also held camera today, which I didn't do yesterday. So that is even more work. Anyway, Chris's reward for having finally put the battery in after I eventually reminded him is we get to watch the next episode of Game of Thrones. Chris's reward is we get to do something. Oh, 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 the camera's a bit heavy. <gasps> it's the last episode of season five. I'm liking your little platform here. It saves me dripping stuff on myself. Does our, ba does our baby know that you're using presumably his backside <laughs> as a carrot holding device? It's very useful. Otherwise, I end up with drips and spills all over my bump. You still have... Out. No, what is that? Because you laughed at me, so I took my carrots down and then I spilt a bit. Here. Thank you. can have it back. Thanks. Let's hope he doesn't kick it off. I hope so. At least carrots oh, don't make too much mess. 
you'll make a mess somehow. We are back in the car again to make our second trip tip of the day. Now, you guys might not recognise the inside of this car. This is not our normal car. This is Focus that now has a battery in and we can work. Chris is going to drive us the tip, but he hasn't driven the Focus in a very long time. Probably years. a year or two, yeah. When was the time you drove a manual? I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You ready? Right. Go. Um. Oh. You stalled it already. I think. Clutch. Brake. Accelerate. No plus knees reverse. Okay, we're good. Oh, bang my head. We're good. The car needs a wash though. Yeah. I don't think you can even see out the windscreen. Just... Ah! Watch out! Learning on this trip that Chris thinks he's a boy racer that can just rev my car engine really high. I'm not even getting anywhere. The bumps are really hard on this car. <laughs> right. It's not going anywhere. It's not supposed to. Treat it nicely. So we've been to the tip and we've just arrived now at the car wash to finally get this thing a much... bit cleaner. <laughs> you can't see any buttons press. Quick! Quick, 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 quick! Beep, 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 beep. Here we go. Do you remember last time you had a clean cup? No. It was about two or three years ago when I got the men to do it at the hand car wash. We're done. So we've just got back from the car wash and it's all shiny. It looks a lot better than it did. There is still a bit of a garden in the windows. So clearly the car wash wasn't that good. You have to pay more than three pound for a full car wash. I've just updated our PIP advent calendar and can you believe this? Don't step on the dog. It is only 18 days until he arrives. How amazing is that? It's just 18 days to go. Oh, it's getting very real now. Like I said earlier, I've got four more working days and then that's it. By that point, we will nearly, nearly kind of be on single figures. Can you imagine when we get to single figures till he's due? I sat down to do a little bit more work on Pip's quilt this evening and as I, just before I did, I thought I was scrolling through my Instagram feed, which I haven't done in a very long time, but I was going through my own photographs. I found this one, which I'm hoping you can see, which is this quilt when I very first finished the top, which was nearly four years ago. How embarrassing is that? This has been hanging around our house for four years, but the weird coincidence is that I finished the top on the 15th of May, 2013. Oh my god, you're too heavy. I'm wondering if this is like some sort of premonition-y omen type thing. So Pip's due on the 6th of May. He could very well be a week or two late. What are the chances that he's born on the 15th? It just seems a bit too spooky to me that this quilt would have been ready on the 15th of May, four years before he's due. If he is born on the 5th of May, that is just super spooky and absolutely meant to be. I don't know. I don't normally believe in these sorts of things, but sometimes it's just a bit of a weird coincidence. Leave comments down below and let me know about weird coincidences that have happened to you. I think after I've done a little bit more on this, I'm probably going to call it a night and go to bed. So please wish me luck on my first day of my last week before maternity leave, which is tomorrow and come back and see us tomorrow. Good night, guys.